I'm going to just start my videos like that. Hola, with a flourish. I like it. Is that a flourish? I'm not sure. Yeah, that's a flourish. <laughs> it's nice. Robbie's tips for artists because he loves you. Hola, you amazing artists, and welcome back to the studio. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the show because I just had my big solo art show. Yay! Here it is. Nope. Oh, it looks so amazing. It looks so amazing. One of the last videos that I recorded was the five things to keep in mind or to do in order to make your art show successful. After doing the art show, there were a few things that I wanted to add to that list. So here are five more things uh, to keep an eye on in order to make your show successful. And also, just in case you missed it, Clee did a video on her giving her speech because she went up there and like uh, did a speech in front of people, which was amazing because she never does public speaking. So yeah, Clee is officially a badass. So you think I'm a badass? That's y awesome. Yeah. I've you're... achieved badass status. You, uh, you, well, you've always been a badass. I just met like now you did this thing and it's now true. you're like badass level two. Oh, level two. I'm still not cool. Your coolness level is like negative two. But badass level is positive. Positive too. Yeah. too. I'll yeah. take it. She gives really good advice in that video. So I suggest you watch it. I'll link it in the description below. Okay, so let's get into it. So there were a few things that I was paying attention to during the show that I thought would be really good to share with you guys. The first thing I wanted to share is whether or not you're doing an art event, an art exhibition, or uh, just a local show or something like that is to get there early. Yeah, I like to get places early. We're those people. We are those people. <laughs> Honestly, now that I'm one of those people, I would much rather be those people than be the people that are running against the clock and like totally stressed out to get there late. I'm like, no. A, just in case something happens, like the shit hits the fan or something. The other one is if you're doing a local show and you're vying for spots and you want to make sure that you get there early and just in case something happens, you get a good spot. We always make it a point to get there at least, at least half an hour before the show. I can't show you guys this part yet because that's going to be a surprise. So you don't get to see that just yet, but... That's amazing. No matter how many shows we have done or like exhibitions or our shows, every single experience is different and you really know what you're in for once you get there. Mm -hmm. Once you get there, so you might as well get there early just so that we could have that additional time to get things set up and get ourselves comfortable being there. I need that time because I'm like, I got to use the bathroom before we kick this off. And I know. I know, old lady. Well, happy birthday. Hey, thanks. You're like, what, 100? 138. <laughs> the second one is to take pictures at your show, and you could also film as well. This is something that I recommend you do, even if it's not something that you share. It's always good to have pictures, you at your show, interacting with people. You know, think about... Uh, what story the picture is going to tell when you're when you're taking them because you want to capture elements of the show because people that maybe have never met you or they're meeting you online for the first time, the way that they're going to meet you is vicariously through whatever the events are that you are doing. It's pre-show. We are getting the cameras ready. For the live stream. For the live stream and for the video recording. Over here. You can't see it because we haven't unveiled it yet. At this particular show, we filmed and we also did a live stream. It was really awesome. It was really exciting because a lot of you guys were able to be there in real time. So we get there with the filming and the live streaming and the what have you and the GoPro cameras. And I'm like, we are so on top. We are more on top of this than anything that we have ever been on top of before. And then it turned out that we totally forgot to take pictures. Yeah, if you're going to give yourself filming and pictures and even live streaming, I do suggest that you bring somebody that will be in charge of that. Because if it is your show, one of the things that I went through was uh, I didn't really get to mingle as much because I was like keeping an eye on the camera equipment. Knowing that you guys were there uh, was really 
it was a big deal. It's such a weird thing because like setting up for the live stream, I was like, oh man, I need a camera person to like be doing stuff. We totally forgot to take pictures at the show. So luckily a friend of ours took pictures. So stupid. Those are things that you want to think about if you are planning on bringing out cameras and stuff and and taking pictures or filming your show. The third thing that is very important when you're at your show is to mingle. Mingle, mingle, mingle. At this show in particular, because of the pre-forementioned camera thing, I did not mingle as much because... uh... So I just finished stuffing my face with some delicious sushi it's true i didn't i'm too nervous right now to eat food i'm not well i did mingle if eating sushi counts as mingling i did go up there and get sushi several times because it was delicious i'm gonna go get sushi i'm gonna give this to clee here clee i'm gonna go get more sushi. oh okay hi guys (laughs) wasabi on your thumb don't lick it up out of habit if you get wasabi on your thumb (laughs) <laughs> well, I got to mingle with zero sushi. I mingled with a lot of humans, but no sushi. That's very sad for me. One yeah. one regret. Yeah. One regret. Too bad. You want to make sure that you mingle uh, with the people that are there and walk out with your art. And, you know, that way, if anybody has any questions, it's so awesome for people to go out to a show and be able to talk to the artist. So be available for that. All right, I'm going to... I'm not going to eat this in front of you. This is kind of nice. It does feel like it's pretty satisfying. That's how I talk to people, by the way. This is really nice. Yeah, when that I'm at a show, I'm at like, the art show. hey, this is really nice to the sushi. <laughs> and the sushi was like... The fourth thing that we had a lot of fun doing was do something, an epic reveal. And the last list I had listed to have something that is going to be a head scratcher or like the piste de resistance, you know, something that will really get people talking. Because what you want to do is you want people to show up to the show and you want them to then relay the story, right? And that's why I said, like, don't do a boring show with white walls. If somebody asks them how the show was, their only description of the show will be, well, it was pretty good. It doesn't have to be like a weirdo thing like what we did with the invisible sculptures, which, by the way, was freaking awesome. The epic reveal was amazing for two reasons. It was really cool the way that they pulled it off with the effects and everything. And also it was a huge head scratcher. Like there was this moment. The pause. The long. It's like he did the reveal and then there was this pause. Yeah, so then I looked at them and I was like, and then people started clapping. So that's why there was a delayed clap. If you do buy the piece, and let's say that you're unhappy with the size of it, if you do put it outside um, and it rains, it does expand. So if it's not big enough to fill the space, most definitely you can fill the space once you put it outside. Also, if it's too big, a little bit of sunshine will always bring it back down to size. And after the reveal, we did a, a Q&A and like people in the audience were in on it, too. So like it just became this whole confusing, hilarious thing. I thought it was amazing. The $20 is not imaginary, though. <laughs> <laughs> that is $20 that's going to go to help Dixon School of Arts and Science support their program uh, and continue with their journey to becoming professional artists or remaining passionate about being in the art world. I also put a link to the website in the description. So if you guys are interested in buying any of those uh, $20 sculptures and donating money to a really good cause, uh, go ahead and the fifth and final thing is uh, if you're going to get up there and you're going to do a talk, try not to go too heavy on the art speak and talking about the art because a lot of events that I've gone to art events, people will talk about like the art and stuff and not talk about themselves or talk about like the people that are putting on the event and really when it comes down to its stories and stuff like that that's what really really connects with people i'm good at recovering from a speech you know like i'm good at recovery if you ever need any pointers 
I actually did a video I'll, on that. Yeah. So thank you. you can, thank the you. link I, is going to be I, in the. I, it'll be in. The, I'll I'll make sure and watch yeah. it. Yeah. Thank you. And most importantly, thank everybody for being there. Thank you so much for being here. I, And the bonus one is most importantly above everything else that I've listed is to enjoy yourself. This is your show. It doesn't matter if it is a small art walk or if you are doing a street show or if you're in a big festival or you're doing a group show or you're doing your own solo show and it's a high end event or a low end event. It doesn't matter what it is. What matters most is that you are prepared to have a good time and enjoy yourself. So we are um, at where you're supposed to be when you're having an event. In front of the bar? Yep. At the show, for at one. At the show, yeah. And the bar. So, hola, you amazing artists, <laughs> and welcome to my art exhibition. So exciting. Because ultimately, that's where we get to loosen up, have a good time, meet people openly and that that's where you really connect with the people that are there for you at your show and that's it those are my five or six tips for uh, just having a successful show and having a good time most importantly from this list that i want people to take away is it's okay to screw it up it's okay to screw it up uh when it came to when we did the live stream stuff we screwed it up but it was okay because we still tried it and next time we do a live stream, we know things going forward, we know things going forward. So like, if you never actually try it, you're never going to figure out, uh, what things work for you and what things don't. A work in progress. Mm -hmm. During the last show, you guys gave such great advice. And so if you have any more, as far as like being part of the show, doing the show, how to behave at the show, uh, go ahead and, and I want to give a big shout out to our patrons who are absolutely freaking awesome. And we're there during the live stream with us. And it was just, it, it was so cool having them there and having them be a part of this event. So I'm about to end this video. You want to? Good day. With a flourish. You had to add the <laughs> flourish part? With a flourish. And I want to thank all you guys for your support and your love in all these videos. Wow, we are up to 28,000 subscribers. And that just blows me away. I have no idea why people are interested in watching us ramble about being artists and stuff like that. But really appreciate you guys. I think you guys are absolutely amazing. And I totally adore you. And if you like this and uh, you haven't subscribed and you want to watch more like this, just go ahead and click over here to subscribe. And that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Adios. Total awesomeness.